Richard. Hi, welcome to the Foundry. Um, so, as Tobias said, I'm uh, the Vice President for uh, Sales in EMEA. So, the teams that work with you every day and that hopefully do a great job uh, in helping make the web work for you. Uh, they're people who work on my team and uh, I'd love you to challenge us over the next two days and over the rest of the year to do even better. So I think we've got a very exciting couple of days uh, lined up for you uh, and I thought that what we do is uh, just give you a little bit of history and to start with a little bit of history about Google. So we've just celebrated our 10th anniversary uh, in Dublin so we're very proud of that. Uh, it coincided with Google's 15th anniversary and we have grown from very humble beginnings. We had a, a, a serviced office uh, with five people uh, just about a mile up the road in a place called Harcourt Street. Uh, so we've come a long way uh, and it's been an exciting journey and it's only been possible because of the great partnership we have with many of you and many other businesses around EMEA. So first of all, let me start by thanking you very much for the business that you give us. Uh, we don't take it for granted uh, in any way uh, we're very, very grateful for it, but it has really been a partnership uh, over the last 10 years and it's a partnership that we hope will continue to grow as we go through the next uh, uh, 10 years of our history. I thought it might be interesting as well to give you a little bit of history about the part of Dublin uh, in which you are today. So the Docklands um, as the name suggests, is it was the heart of all of the trading activity in Dublin Port. And if you go back about 100 years, um, it was where we would ship in all of the goods that we were buying uh, from around Europe, huge amount of that coming from the UK, but it was also where we do a lot of export. And the two big exports we had, the first one was textiles, uh, so we used to manufacture and export a lot of textiles, poplin and whatnot. And we also exported a lot of Guinness. So you can see the barrels in there. I'm pretty sure they're full of Guinness. Um, and I'd say a few of those barrels will be rolling up and down the road outside the pub uh, that I hope to see you all in later tonight. Uh, we didn't export horses, uh, just to be clear. Um, so Guinness and textiles were the two main things. The Docklands, like in many other uh, cities, went through then a, a, a period of decline. And certainly when I was growing up, the Docklands in Dublin was an area where it was a bit run down, a little bit rough, there wasn't much going on, there wasn't much business. But in the last 20 years, it's really transformed. And we're very proud of the role that uh, we've played in that transformation. And the Docklands now has become a centre for international trade once again, but a very different type of international trade. So it's a centre where you've got many international digital companies like Google uh, who've got their European headquarters, uh, who've got large teams who are working with businesses right around EMEA, helping them to trade within their own domestic markets in the online space, but also helping them to import and export. Um, so it's been an exciting journey from that perspective to see a, a part of the city that I knew growing up really be transformed. And I think that transformation has been a metaphor for what's happened in many of our businesses over the, over the last 10 years. Um, our office here is uh, extremely international. So we use about over 65 languages every day, uh, working with businesses like yours right across the EMEA region. We have over 4,000 people working in our offices. We've got four buildings here, five buildings now here in Barra Street. We've got another few buildings on the north side of Dublin uh, where we've got another centre and we've got some data centres spread, um, uh, spread around Ireland as well. And from this location we have the teams that really interface with uh, all of Google's consumers, so the people who need support on our various consumer products like Gmail or apps and things like that. Um, we have our publisher group, so our online publisher group who, works, who work with content creators and publishers right across the region and helping connect them with advertisers and to monetize the great content that they, uh, that they generate, and which is the, 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 the blood flowing through the veins of the web. And then of course advertisers. 
Um, but also, we have a large uh, engineering center here. And the engineering center here focuses on the infrastructure and network engineering. So they're the people who run and design our data centers across the region and who also run the Google infrastructure. So when, when the, uh, North America uh, goes asleep, uh, the teams here will take over and make sure that the Google infrastructure uh, keeps running and keeps happening globally and uh, working for our users. So I was also asked to mention that this is the place where U2 was born. Uh, so I think the organizing team are big U2 fans. Uh, and we've had the great privilege of U2 popping in to see us on a couple of occasions. So they're good friends uh, of some of the people around Google. So uh, I don't think they're planning on popping in today, but you never know. Uh, they have been known to be found busking on O'Connell Street uh, at various random times, very often around Christmas. So it's always a privilege when you're wandering down Grafton Street doing that last minute panicked shopping and you pop outside and forget about the shopping because you too is playing in the street. So uh, one of the wonderful things about living in Dublin. So this is one of the events that I get very excited about because of the diverse nature uh, of the people that arrive. So we've got over 315 of you here today. So for whom is it the first time they've visited us here in Dublin? Wow, quite a lot. Well. Welcome to Dublin, and welcome to Google in Dublin. Uh, delighted to have you all here. Um, one of the things that we do after every event is we, we get feedback from you all. And consistently, the, the, one of the things that, you, uh, that people say after they attend events is like, the value in networking, right? the value in getting to know each other, the value in getting to know people who are in a similar business in a different region or sometimes in your own market, and to hear about the challenges that they have and how they're approaching them and how they're dealing with them. So one of the big things that we're going to focus on over the next two days is the opportunity to network together. And I'm going to give you a bunch of different uh, uh, ways in which we're going to do that. Uh, the most traditional Irish method for networking is in the pub with a pint of Guinness in your hand. So we'll practice that one this evening after about 7.30, right? So get prepared for that. Um, but I want to introduce you to one other friend of mine uh, who has probably come from the uh, furthest location of any of you. And that is our very friendly Android. All right? So this is our very own foundry android who flew in from some vast distant galaxy. Right? So say hello. Well, you can't hear you, it's hard of hearing. Say hello. hello. That's good. Right. So you're all going to get to know our little android friend intimately over the next couple of days. Right? And the reason you're going to get to know him intimately is that audience participation is vital in all of this, right? So you've got, to, you've got to heckle anybody who's speaking. You've got to ask lots of questions, because if you don't, you're not going to get the answers you want, and you'd be kind of going, was that really worthwhile, right? So uh, my request to you is to challenge to ask lots of questions. So to kick off and tell you how this little friend will participate in our uh, challenging and question asking, what he can do through magical powers that nobody in this planet really understands, is he's able to translate what you say into a language that the entire audience can hear, right? And what you have to do is you have to speak in his ear like this. You have to, you have to give him a hug, and you have to speak in his ear, right? Can you do that? Yeah? I know this is a little bit odd, but that's the way we work around here. Like, like you to feel uncomfortably excited. <laughs> right. So we're going to start with our networking. So you can see in this map, we've got people from like right around the EMEA region, right, from far and wide. So I'm going to start, and I'm going to see if we can find the person in the room who comes from the furthest south. Now, I believe we've got folks here from South Africa today, do we? Go on, stick up your hand. OK, who's going to volunteer? Who's, who comes from the furthest south point in EMEA? Nobody from the African continent? Maybe they haven't landed yet. <laughs> OK. So anybody from Spain? Malaga? No? OK. Barcelona? Barcelona. OK, right. So I'm going to send you the Android. You've got to give him a hug. And I want to take two minutes and just tell us your name, your business, and what business you're in, and what you hope to get from the next day. 
Okay? Okay, so you've got to pass them back, right? So I'm going to throw them to you, and you're going to pass them back. That's it. Go on. Go on. There we go. So you've got to hug them, speak in his ear. You'll hear his magical powers of translation. Can you hear me? Oh, yes. Okay. Isn't that magic? <laughs> Andrei is magic. Okay. So what's, what's your name? Stefano Sabato. Welcome, Stefano. So tell us a little bit about your business and what you, what you do. Yeah, I'm the responsible for the marketing department of uh, Raccoon in Spain and Portugal. And uh, Raccoon is an uh, e-commerce uh, uh, focused on uh, electronic uh, uh, products and uh, nothing. Uh, Great. Excellent. Well, thank you for the introduction. So who else in the audience works in the electronic, online electronic retail space? Lots of you, right? So your job today is to go and find Stefanos and have a chat with him. Okay? Okay, so one more. We're just going to introduce one more. I want to make sure that the Android gets a good workout before I leave the stage. So who comes from the furthest, furthest east? Anybody from Russia? We have somebody. Oh, look, they're all sitting together down in the front row. <laughs> strength in numbers, gentlemen, strength in numbers. Okay, so let's send down the Android. Let's see what your pitching is like. Well, of course. There we go. There we go. All right. So please take a second and introduce yourself. Hi there. Do you hear me? Well done. It's the right ear. It's got the arrow. Yeah. We are from Russia. And You're from Russia? Yeah. Well done. What's your name? My name is Evgeny. Evgeny. For you, it's better like Eugene. Right? Evgeny, Eugene. So you can call him anything you want tonight, basically. <laughs> it's up to you. And what, what, what's the name of your company? It's La Moda. La Moda. La Moda. Yes. And what does La Moda do for those who don't know? It's an e-commerce project. An e-commerce project. Yeah. Ah, very good. And what does your e-commerce project sell? We're selling stuff like shoes and clothes. So and fashion. Yes. It's yeah. Fashion. So who else is in fashion? Lots of people in fashion. You've got lots of friends Media. to talk to tonight. You're going to be popular. Nobody will know your name, but you'll be popular. <laughs> okay, good stuff. All right, so everybody gets how the Android works. You're going to all give them a hug today, that, or between today and tomorrow. Uh, that's the objective. So the South Africans didn't arrive, so we'll have to change the slide. Um, but if they do show up, make sure you welcome them later on. Okay, so some of the other things that you, uh, some of the other feedback we got after the last retail event we did. Basically, there are three things that um, we've heard from, uh, we've heard in in feedback from the last session, as well as in our conversations between you and your account managers over the, over the recent months. The first thing is that you want to understand more about how to work across the proliferation of different devices and platforms and screen sizes. I think it's a challenge that everybody in this sector is facing today. Yeah. So we're going to, we're going to um, uh, spend a lot of time talking about how you interact across multiple devices and multiple platforms. Uh, the second thing is about the customer journey. So one of the things that we've all seen over the last 10 years is that the way in which customers are using technology and using the internet is changing rapidly. You know, the only thing that's changing faster than technology is how customers are using it. We're constantly amazed that you know, we come up with, with new technologies, we put them out in the market, and then people who use them are using them in ways that we never imagined. You know, we've seen this time and time again with things like Google Plus or even with Google Glass, where as soon as we've put some of these new technologies out in the market, the way in which people start to use them and the innovations they have in the use cases are tremendous. So we're going to spend some time. The second big area is spending time talking about the customer journey. And what are the new insights that we can uh, give you about how customers are using technology and how they're making their decisions as they, as they flow through, through the digital world? And then the final part is, well, how do I stand out? Because it's becoming increasingly a crowded space. So how do I stand out amongst my customer base and amongst the competition? What are the things that we're going to be able to tell you over the next uh, couple of days that you might be able to take back and help you stand out as a business and connect with an even greater customer base? So they're the three things that uh, we're going to focus on, uh, and then obviously the networking throughout the whole event. So here's the agenda. 
Um, obviously, going to be talking about mobile, uh, some more networking stuff, and audience. Audience is, a, is increasingly something that we're talking about in the digital space. You know, it's, it, it's about can you find an audience? Can you remarket to them? Can you keep tracking that audience and connecting with that specific audience? Um, then we're going to talk about things around, uh, we're going to hear about different cases about other people and how they're tackling these challenges. Um, later on this evening, a couple of hours to break out of here, go and check into your hotel, and then sincerely hope everybody will join us uh, from 7.30 uh, for our evening event, which promises to be fun, which is at House on Leeson Street. As I said, uh, the perfect opportunity to network. Then tomorrow, we've got some breakouts happening. Uh, we're going to talk about shopping, uh, some more networking stuff going on, more talk about um, audience and multi-channel marketing. Um, so hopefully uh, we'll be able to get to those three topics and answer all of your questions on those. Now, one of the new things that we've done is we've created an app. We have an app for the event over the next couple of days. So I encourage you all to log on to the Play Store or onto um, um, that other one. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> and to download the uh, app for the event. So it's retail at Google. And you'll see here the username uh, is foundry and password goog14, G-O-O-G-1-4. OK? So if you download that, uh, you'll be able to log in. It has all of the agenda, all of the happenings, uh, and all of the locations for the various things over the next two days. Now, so what's going on? So we talked about breakouts. So breakouts around audience, uh, around uh, remarketing um, around multi mobile and multi-device and a whole host of other uh, topics. Um, so they'll be going on, um, uh, those breakouts will be going on in group sessions. We'll also have some networking challenges going on at the same time. Uh, this will become clear as to why we're putting such an emphasis on networking in a moment. Uh, it's not just about you guys meeting each other, there are prizes involved. So uh, get ready for that. And then we're going to have Google Gurus available. So if uh, there isn't a breakout session on or one you haven't been able to make it for some reason, we're going to have some Google Gurus, Google Gurus wandering around outside. They'll be the folks in the yellow t-shirts uh, who will be able to take specific questions on things like audience or remarketing, uh, conversion, attribution, and so forth. So uh, lots of people doing that. Now, um, Google Glass. Have you all heard of Google Glass? Yep. Uh, would anybody like to try Google Glass? Yes. yes. OK. Right. Well, the good news is some of you will be able to. Uh, so Christoph and uh, some of the Google Glass team, I don't know if Christoph is in here, uh, but Christoph and some of the Google Glass team have flown over from Mountain View. And they're going to hold two sessions, one today and one tomorrow, for a select number of uh, people in the audience. Now, if you take your invitation uh, that you've got around your neck, your, your registration card, uh, some of you should have a golden ticket on the uh, card. So if you see a golden ticket on your card, please stand up. There should be a gold ticket on your badge. We have some gold tickets standing. Great. This is like, have you ever seen Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory? This is even better. OK. So there should, be, there should be about 20 people in the audience who have the golden ticket. And there's going to be two sessions. The first session for about 10 of you will be held today. And it's, uh, it's being held at 2.45, right? So you'll have a date on your ticket. So one, some tickets will say today, other tickets will say tomorrow. So if your date is today, the session is at 2.45, and uh, it'll be held in this building on the third floor. So I'm assuming that they're going to meet just outside. Going to meet over here? OK, so at 2.45, if those of you who have the golden ticket with today's date on it can meet just down here, and the guys will take you off, and you'll be able to get to play around with Google Glass for a little while uh, and get a, good, a full demo from the Google Glass team. So I think that should be quite exciting for you. Um, and then finally, on networking, right? So uh, Tobias is going to explain to you a little bit later on exactly what we mean by networking bingo. But even if you don't want to, we're going to force you to talk together, right? Um, and we've put some prizes in place. So we're going to do networking bingo uh, 
Have you ever played bingo before? This is even easier. It's great. Um, but we're going to throw in a couple of flights, flights for two people to San Francisco and a few nights in a hotel uh, for the winners of networking bingo, right? So there's a real incentive there for you to go and get to meet some of your uh, colleagues around the place and to talk to the guy with multiple names in the corner. Okay? Great. So listen, I'm going to leave you with that. I'm going to hand you back over to Tobias. Welcome again to Dublin. Uh, I'm going to be down at House later on tonight. I look forward to meeting many of you. Thank you.